The Multnomah County Fair has been going strong since 1906, and despite the challenges of the last year, it continues its rich tradition this Memorial Day weekend. With us today is Larry Smith, president of the Multnomah County Fair Board. Welcome, Larry. Well, thank you, Monica. It's great to see you again. So we're going to start out with just a rapid fire round of questions. And um, are you ready? Uh, we'll see. <laughs> okay, thanks. So Larry, what is your favorite aspect of the fair? I just think that the whole idea of it's the, the community coming together and, and it's a family affair. We've got four generations of, of one family working, a grandmother, great-grandmother, mother, and children wow. uh, that bring exhibits. So uh, what, what is a brand new offering that you can tell us about at the fair this year? Well, one thing we've never tried before is live streaming some of the events to our website. So we're going to be doing that. And uh, regardless of how the pandemic restrictions are, we'll be able to at least uh, send some of it out to the community. If, the, if people can't come to us, we will send the fair to them. Great. So where and when is the fair? This year it's on Mar Memorial Day weekend, which is going to be just two days this year, May 29th and 30th. Okay, and that's at Oaks Park? It is at Oaks Park, and okay. the, the main part of it is going to be in the historic dance pavilion. That's the Great. exhibit hall. Great. So uh, can you list a few of the things that people can expect to see at the fair this year, since it'll be a little different? Yeah, it's a little different. We've we've got to go with whatever Oaks Park uh, tells us we can do, and they have to go with the the state guidelines. So we've got our uh, traditional competitions in. See if I can get them all in one one thought: arts, crafts, fiber arts, which is textiles, floral and garden, photography, and foods. And we'll be having our uh, traditional uh, competitions. People will be able to bring in, in their exhibits on May 28th, Friday, and they will be judged on Saturday. Great, that sounds like fun. So why should people go to the fair? It's just, it's one of those time, time traditions that we've been going, this is going to be number 115, and uh, Oaks Park, of course, they will have to uh, make sure that they follow all the guidelines, but they will be open to some extent. So we'll be able to also enjoy the midway rides and the other Oaks Park attractions. And I hope the weather holds. So if you were to make up an official slogan for the fair, what would it be? Well, uh, could I go to? Because sure, two, go to, one, go of them, to. one of them would be we're bulletproof. <laughs> After this last year, we actually had a uh, a fair last year it was called we call it the virtual fair we made a video of it and that is available if you want to take a look at our website but our official uh, theme is honoring those who serve and especially mm. this year when we're talking about not just the medical workers but the transit workers the grocery workers everybody who has gotten us through this pandemic we want to honor them great thanks larry that that look, gives us something to look forward to can you tell me a little bit more about why you've been involved for so long? I know as a president of the board, you're very busy. And, and uh, what do you get out of it and what makes it worthwhile to you? I started participating in fairs when I was 10 years old. And now I'm 65. So do the math. It actually is 1967. And at, at one point, someone said, you know, you've been involved in enough fairs in in an different ones around the area, they, they kind of, they call me the carpet bagger because I go to other fairs other than my own county. And somebody said, you know, you know fairs well enough, you would probably be a good board member. And I thought, great, I'll be a board member. And one day, maybe I'll even be president. Well, the next year, the president resigned. Here there I am. you are. Here I am. <laughs> and how long has it been? Six years, I think. Six years, yeah, yeah. You'll be in it for another ten. Um, <laughs> tell me, uh, tell me what else people should know about the Multnomah County Fair this year. Is there anything we've left out? It, it is one of the the very few events that are actually going to be held, and we've got some of the uh, news stations coming out to do some promos for us the, on their actual news stations. And one person said it best. It's like. Any event going on at this time is news. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Mm -hmm. So you're bringing news to the Pacific Northwest here. So everybody needs to go out and check out the Maloma County Fair. 
on Memorial Day weekend in Oaks Park. And we will be able to uh, know closer to the date of the fair how many people we can actually let in. And we believe we're going to have a ticketing system at on the Oaks Park website to oh, make a reservation. We have to do that this year. And that's okay. So on the information will be on our website. Thank you, Larry, so much for giving us this information about the Multnomah County Fair. People can check it out at Oaks Park on Memorial Day weekend and check out your website for, for more information. Thanks very much for all you're doing for the community. Thank you. And thank you to Metro East for all you're doing for the community. <laughs> Take care, Larry. And to all of our viewers out there, be sure to check out the Multnomah County Fair. In the meantime, be safe and stay healthy.